Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I am going to be reviewing the Anna Pardell Hibiscus Longline. Now if you've seen the new Anna Pardell website you'll know that she has created basically this great platform where you can customize the bras that you purchase. She has a couple different shapes, you can turn any of those shapes into a long line, and then of course there's also the ability to add some alterations. So I got the hibiscus before the new website launched, so what you're looking at here is the original classic plunge, and I've had this modified by reducing the cup and having the straps moved in. Now as I understand it, this is kind of close to the new nuanced plunge version, and then of course I have the extra long line put here. So what I'm going to be reviewing today is not only the hibiscus itself, but also the uh, shape of the cup plus the long line portion of it. For sizing, I usually take a 32 double H in Anna Pardell. I find that this is about one cup and one band size up from my usual UK sizing. And without fail, this has always worked for me. However, I was concerned with the long line about the band being too tight, particularly because it does come down almost to the waist. Um, I don't particularly care for having anything super tight on my upper stomach or waist region. So I decided to size up to the 34. And of course, when you size up in the band, you have to go down in the cup. So this is a 34H. It's basically a sister size to my standard Anna Pardell. And this is great, this fits perfectly. I'm sure that I could have gotten the long line a little bit tighter, but I feel like because you have so many more hooks and eye closures in the back, you don't have to have it so firm as when you only have two or three. And the 34 is fine, it's super comfortable. Um, I also wanted to keep in mind that I do move a lot during the day. Sometimes I'm bending over and I didn't want it to be too tight. I also obviously have to eat at some point during the day and I was afraid that after lunch, it was going to be even tighter. So 34 for me was the absolute wisest choice to make with the Anna Pardell long line and I'm very happy with it. So the H cup fits fine. Um, I didn't expect it to fit any differently. The 32 double H has always been perfect so I expected the 34 H to be fine as well. I don't have any gaping or overflow. Um, as I mentioned the band is nice and firm. Now the original classic plunge has a taller cup and the straps are moved out further. Um, what I found after some experimentation was that a reduced cup and then the straps moved in two centimeters really helped improve the overall fit for me. However, the new Nuance Plunge is supposed to take both of these things into account. And I want to say a quick word as well um, about the reduced cup height. I've talked about this on other videos before, um, experimenting with that. I believe Felicity was one. If you haven't checked that out, you might want to see that. But what the reduced cut basically did for me was it removed some of the extra gaping here towards the top of the strap. Now I have like a perfect fit across the top here. Before it was a little bit of a fit quibble. It was certainly not enough for me to not love the bras, but now I love them that much more. I didn't have anything adjusted with the gore on this one, so this is the classic height. Uh, like I said, I feel like this is going to be the closest approximation to the new nuanced plunge. Um, because in my size, I don't think they've made any changes to the gore height. It's just more of a reduced cup, and then, of course, the straps moved in. So let's talk about the actual long line part. So I've tried a couple of these in the past, and I've also watched a lot of customers try them. And the school of thought was, at first, to do something like what Anna Pardell has done in the sense that there's no boning. Um, Freya has done this in the past, and one of the complaints that I heard quite frequently was that particularly as you move, the band would start to roll up. So this was even worse when you were seated, and frequently throughout the day, it would be necessary to pull the band down and readjust everything back into place. Um, obviously though, because there was no boning, it was a little bit more comfortable. Then I've seen long line bras where they will take boning and they will put it here in this front on this seam and then also a side stay. Now these, because of the boning, tend to stay put the best, but when you're sitting or you're slouched or you're doing anything but perfect posture, it tends to cut into the stomach or the sides. So you sacrifice a little bit of comfort in order to have the bra stay put. Then I tried the Curvy Kate Carmen bra, which I also have a review of, and they forwent having the extra stays here in the front for the side. And up until this point, I felt like the Carmen was without a doubt the most comfortable long line I had tried. And I recommended it to a lot of people because the boning on the side was a little bit more flexible, it didn't feel like it dug as much, it still kept the bra band down, 
And I felt like this was probably the best evolution of the long line for an everyday bra that I had seen. Anna Pardon and Comexum, however, managed to top themselves. This particular long line has no boning, but it does have this extra piece of elastic here at the bottom that's firmer, so it tends to anchor more closely to the body here. Um, I've worn these throughout long days in the store and not had an issue except for maybe once in a while it might flip up a little bit, but we're not talking about a full-on roll towards the top of the underwire. So this for me has easily been the best long line uh, decision as far as, as getting that design right where it stays put but also maintaining a high comfort level. So props to Comexum and to Anna Pardell for figuring this out. Now I haven't really owned a long line myself, it's outside of Carmen and I usually only wear Carmen occasionally. So for me to try this on was really a huge surprise because now I feel like I want most of my bras in the long line. And there's a number of reasons why. First, I love the fact that it's really got this very wide band. It totally takes the weight of the bust off of my shoulders and neck. I mean, it's just almost like they would stand up on their own. It's fantastic. I love the added side smoothing that you get. This really makes sure that you get a nice smooth back. You don't get any of the dreaded back fat. And I feel like it also keeps the profile nice and lean coming down to the waist. Sometimes because my tissue is a little squishier on the ribs, my uh, regular bras will maybe dig in a little bit and I'll get a little pooch there, um, which is noticeable under some of my tighter tops. But this long line does not show any of that. It's perfect. It's like the ideal combination of comfort, sophistication, and support all in one piece. I cannot say highly enough how much I love having this long line component. I already have plans of getting at least two or three more different styles with the long line, uh, just because I feel like it's fantastic. It really does give me a lot of back support while I'm moving throughout the day and it's wonderful. So now that I've talked a little bit about fit and the long line and everything like that, let's just talk about materials briefly here. Um, the hibiscus bra is obviously very gorgeous. Uh, Sweet Nothings did a beautiful review uh, piece on it on her blog in the half cup form and you know it's just it's gorgeous. It's almost got a stained glass quality to it. It's a, a nice lighter beige base with this great black contrast. You have these hibiscus leaves coming across. Um, there's this oversized kind of bow towards the center that's a really great accent piece. Um, they have this kind of like extra little piece of embroidery here which is like this double black line layer. I don't know if you'll see it in the video but um, in the pictures I have with the actual blog you can see that. Um, you'll be able to find those in the comment section of this video. And overall, I think the aesthetic of this is really beautiful. It's just so classy, it's so sophisticated, the materials are really high quality, the interior of the cup is made from a very soft fabric, the band here with the long line is flexible enough to, to kind of contour to you, but it's still firm enough to stay put. The back is actually kind of more of a mesh, so it's a little bit more breathable, it doesn't feel like it's overly hot. Um, being here in North Carolina are in the summer, it's extremely hot here right now. It's frequently between 95 and 100 degrees with all kinds of humidity. And this still maintains a breathability level that's comfortable. Um, the straps are fully adjustable as usual, so that's good. Um, and again, I've tried a lot of Anna Pardell bras now and they've always been a great investment piece. Her prices have gone up to reflect the fact that there's an extra quality here to the materials as well as the design process and I feel like it is fully and totally worth the money. Um, I think this piece is supposed to be about $79 and honestly I feel like it's a deal. I mean it really is. It's fantastic. I can't say enough about it. So if you haven't tried that yet, consider the long line. Um, check out her new website too because she's got a lot of great options. She's even changed some panty styles. There's great new um, customizations. You can get asymmetry pads put in these if you have a little bit of asymmetry that she'll do nursing clasps so you can turn it into a nursing bra. I mean the world is your oyster as far as this brand is concerned. So if you haven't already done so, definitely go check out her new website. Now if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our blog, Facebook, and Twitter for all the latest news and event information. Thanks for watching.